I, I, I will never not give somebody my number ever again. I had a pretty traumatizing experience at Dave and Buster's one time by doing that. So I mean, by not giving someone, by not giving them my number. Do you want to? People got assault. Oh, um, I'll get a, the the yeah. real quick version. Um, there was three gentlemen that came into my bar. Mm -hmm. There was a real quiet one. There was a real loud one, and then there was a one that was kind of in the middle, but he was flashy. He was always like showing off his money. Um, he had got there at like like nine, maybe. Mm -hmm. Asked for my number multiple times. I kept saying I was good. You know, was just giving him. I get. I think I gave them each like maybe two drinks, so they weren't like completely turned. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, he took out all of his cash and like spread it all over the bar, like just flexing or whatever. But like, little do he know, like a bitch like me, that literally goes in one ear and out the other. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, what did he do? He was like, if you don't give me your number, I'm gonna get it one way or the other. So if you don't give it to me, I'm gonna follow you out to your car and I'm gonna take it. He said this. Yes, he said this verbatim. And so I'm sitting here thinking like, he's just another bitch ass nigga, like just talking shit or whatever. So. The night goes on. He's refusing to pay his tab. He's like, I'll pay my tab once you give me your number. And I was like, bro, it's not that serious. Mm -hmm. Like, so we shut all the lights off. Or not the lights, but the uh, TVs off or whatever. Lights start to dim down. My manager comes out. She's like, all right, guys, it's time to, you know what I'm saying, pack it up and go pay your tabs. And he's like, well, I ain't paying shit. So he took all of his money, like, and threw it in her face and was like, pick my money up, bitch. And... My manager was from the hood at the time, so Who she went manager? ballistic. Yeah, she went crazy. Um, and the quiet dude, he started, like, acting like he was clutching. And then um, the other dude or whatever, they just went crazy. They started grabbing glasses off of my bar and started chucking them at all of my uh, coworkers and my managers. Uh, they assaulted my bar back. They started flipping chairs over throwing food, they destroyed, they destroyed our, uh, if you know what a POS system is, mm -hmm. that's what, um, that little computer that people use to ring mm -hmm. stuff in. Yeah. They destroyed, they probably, they, they caused about a couple thousand dollars, um, and worth damage. of damage. Um, well, yeah, cops got called or whatever, got them up out of there, but it was real, it was real scary because they were acting like they had a gun and it's like mm -hmm. the way that could have went, it could have went totally left. So now, just to alleviate, because men are crazy. Like, I don't think people really realize how dangerous it is to be a woman nowadays. Like, just something as simple as saying no thank you can set a man, not in his right frame of mind, over the top. And so I just, I'm like, you know, it's not even worth the headache. I have a block button. I can just take your number and block you whenever I get home. Or That's whatever, what whatever. you do now? That's what I do now, mm -hmm. yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, to each his own though. Some women they they don't care whatever they'll give their number out or give a fake number. But men men are starting to call that motherfucker right in front of you. <laughs> so it's well. First off, let me say it's wild that first off you're not even the first story like mm -hmm. that that I've heard. Really, whether in person or on social media. Social media, there's hundreds, there's yeah. thousands of stories similar to that. Mm -hmm. But even in person, you're not the first story I've heard similar to that. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that is wild. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm embarrassed for the men community because mm -hmm. I'm the complete opposite. If someone don't want me, I'm cool. Like yeah. I don't I don't wanna I will never force someone to try to want me that doesn't want me. I think that's insane. But for you to be to the point where you get rejected, the two most dangerous mammals on this planet is one, a dude that has nothing to lose that gets rejected. Yeah. Like in your scenario mm -hmm. where they get rejected and they just can't handle it. They got nothing to lose. Yeah. They never had anything bad on their arms. So when they get turned down, they just flip out because they think that's the end all be all. Yeah. And two, a dude that a girl doesn't want him anymore, but he still wants her. Yeah. Those are the two most dangerous men on mammals. Fuck men. Those yeah. are the two most gorillas. Lions, tigers, nothing. way more dangerous yeah. than these type of dudes I'm talking about. Yeah. You know how many dudes are in prison right now over this shit? Mm -hmm. You know how many dudes are six feet under yeah. because of this shit? Because they had no idea what they was getting into. A girl was single, so she thought they're dealing with the girl, but her mm -hmm. ex can't let her go. He pops up and shoot this nigga. Yeah. You know how many situations happened, went down like that? A lot. It's insane. And then, like you said, like how many women get assaulted because a dude, because a girl won't give you her fucking number? Yeah. That I'm a, I'm embarrassed for the men community for some shit like that. Yeah. That is insane to me. 
That is legit insane to me. Y'all niggas need to get yourselves together. Y'all need to raise y'all standards and work on your motherfucking self to the point where you're turning down women. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Um, but do you have a Google number? I don't. I always recommend a Google number in situations like that because they yeah. say the same thing. They're like, oh, they'll call it in front of you. A Google number, you say you had a Google number. If mm -hmm. I called your Google number, it will still ring to your phone and you uh -huh. can show them because their caller ID will pop up. Yeah. You can still show them and be like, is this you? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's me. They will still think they got it, yeah. even though it's a Google number. I use text now from like time to time whenever yeah. I have like clients and stuff, but mm. that's about it. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Some of you dudes need to... A lot of you dudes need to do better, man. That's a damn shame. Do better. All right, to get back on a lighter subject.